Hey there everyone, X-Man 490 here, and we're back with more Let's Play Super Luigi Galaxy. Apparently, uh, since we've reached World 2, the uh, area around the, uh, the ship here is a little different. Let me change my volume so that you don't hear a bit of, a bit of an echo. But yeah, the ship is still pretty much the same as it used to be, but yeah. Um, the second world looks a little different than the first one, you know, it has the kind of a sun in the middle. I don't know what's with that, but we got, oh, no. We got a new galaxy, the Puzzle Plank Galaxy. I, uh, starting a bit of this galaxy already, just to see. Yeah, um, I'm recording this kind of early, like a couple, maybe a couple weeks, a week or two before I upload it, because... Well, I just want to keep playing this game, you know? And then I'll have more galaxies to replay and, and won't be that boring. Yes. But yes, this is the puzzling picture block. Um, you can also ground pound these, you know. Get some star bits. Very nice. Ground pound this. Hit that. I guess this is just ground pound craziness place. Oh, uh, what's for this? Um, no thank you. I mean, come on. You know, it, 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 that, that's very simple. It's very, very simple. Um, but I guess, like, if someone has trouble finding that Z button, they can just, uh, learn how to do that. I guess we have to ground pound. Oh. Yay! Get out of my freaking way, you stupid wiggler. Sure. Oh jeez. Aw, oh, damn it! Oh, there's a kind of a western tune with this. That's funny. Uh, but yeah, I guess if you do that, you get a couple one-ups, and these stupid wigglers are always in the freaking way. Hate them. Now I have a grudge against those wigglers! Those stupid things that are in my way. I guess that's gonna be the new stupid thing in this game. Instead of stupid rats or stupid boblins, there's gonna be stupid, uh, stupid wigglers. Maybe. I don't know. Because there might be a more annoying enemy. Oh, hello there, mister! Oh, 70, huh? Well, I don't quite have that. Um, I guess it's time to explore, because, uh, usually you can find, you know, something with, uh, quite a lot of coins, you know, maybe a pipe or something. Oh yeah, those are pipe. Here's some uh, coins here. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, and I guess if you ground pound this, and then it'll show up on the other side. And there's also these uh, chainsaws. Even I think no, I think these are round. And then the ones in Super Mario World are uh, rectangular. So let's get to that secret star with that uh, Luma grab a whole lot of coins, you know? I think these are uh, gonna give us enough to us, uh, at least to 70. I mean, come on. Yay! But uh, still not 70. I'm kind of concerned. I have a bit of concern involving this sort of thing. But whatever. I guess we could get some coins, uh... Oh, here's some coins. Very nice. We might actually get to 70. What's this? Yes! 70! So I guess if you, uh, go around and keep collecting those coins, including the ones down there, uh, you'll be able to have just enough for this big fella. So, yep. Yeah. Oh, cool. That kind of a sound, very nice. Very, uh, uh, I don't know, I guess it's like, realistic, I don't know. But yes, we get a new planet and it's a big... It looks familiar. It, it isn't? You're kidding me. We are going to fight 
Well, I'm guessing it's gonna be the cloud equivalent of Bugaboom. There's something with clouds, you know. <laughs> um, either that or something else. Yep, it's oh, it is Bugaboom all over again. With and this is gonna be incredibly much easier because Cloud Mario freaking destroys the world. I don't know, it is really great. Oh, well, I guess he's kind of aggressive today. Bugaboom's got some uh, nasty thing, I don't know. Yeah, getting back to that, flying around. I really don't see how this could be more difficult than it was in the uh, Galaxy 1. <laughs> Yeah, like when I saw the tree with the little bits of land around it, I, I I just knew this guy was coming back. I knew it! I knew it! Uh, just get, get some of these, you know. I hope he has a, maybe a fourth, or, yeah, I think it's fourth phase. But this is extremely easy, I mean, come on! Oh, well, maybe not, you have to, uh... Still have to be good at this whole, uh, that, that stuff with, the uh, Cloud Mario, which I apparently am not, uh, oh well, ow, damn it, keep away from those bombs, yeah, I guess that's, it's a little more annoying, a little, a tiny bit more difficult, actually it's very easy, wow, Whoa! Yeah, whatever. That was a nice new way of fighting that old boss, you know? Nice, uh, nice breather. Yep. We got a star for being a boss. Again. With our new cloud suit. Yet another way to compare it to the bee suit. Yep. <laughs> Bugaboom's back. Oh, I get it. Oh, yeah. Good one. Because, like, you, you ground pound his back, and then he's back, you know. He has returned. I know. Changes to the world map, huh? Oh, yeah, the male toad, yeah. Okay, and it could be useful. It might just be one ups, you know, maybe. Look for mail, first letter. Yep, it's, uh, let me guess. He has the. Oh, just one one up. Oh well, you know. Eh, we don't need five one ups anyways. So. Oh, we can, we can change between worlds and stuff. The ground. and power of ground starting travel great distances. And. okay. Oh, so you, we can zoom out and go back to World 1, and then once we can get to World 3, we can just skip over to World 1 or whatever. So let's get back to World 2 and the puzzle plank to, uh, I don't know, maybe do some more cloud suit shenanigans.